Welcome to the Valley Model Railroad Club Portable Layout. This short instructional video will explain how to operate a train on our layout. Our club's portable layout uses digital command control, commonly referred to as DCC, to operate the trains. A microcomputer called a decoder is mounted in each locomotive. This method allows us to have independent control for each train on the same set of tracks. When it is your turn to operate a train on the layout, the Yardmaster will assign a train and give you the controller for that train. In order to use the controller, it must be plugged into the control outlets located on the side of the layout. Take note that the silver connector at the end of the controller cord must be orientated in the proper direction. Two set screws on the plug must face up towards the ceiling. Once the display screen lights up, the controller is ready to use. The controller has several buttons, but you will only need a couple of them to run your train. The first knob is the speed control. These numbers on the display show the speed of your train. Turning the knob in the up direction will cause your train to start moving. The higher the number on the controller visual display will result in the train operating at a higher speed. Turning the knob in the downward direction will slow and eventually stop the train when the display shows zero. The increment and decrement buttons may also be used for speed control. Do not use the red emergency stop button to stop your train. Doing so will result in stopping all of the other trains on the layout. This button is for train direction. A FWD on the display screen is for forward, and the REV is for reverse. We only operate forward on this layout. Operation in reverse is only permitted with dispatcher or club member permission. In addition to the speed and direction controls, there are also sound and lighting controls. Pressing this button will sound the horn. And this button is for the bell. Please note that not all of our trains are equipped with sound. This button is for the headlight, and again, not all of our trains have headlights installed. These are the only buttons that you will need to operate your train. Please do not touch any other buttons unless instructed to do so by a club member. Remember that your controller must be plugged into the layout in order to change the speed or stop your train. Our portable layout is equipped with a prototype signal system which must be followed when operating a train. A red signal means stop. Do not pass the signal. A green signal means go. A yellow signal means slow down and be prepared to stop at the next signal. A lunar white signal means pass, go very slow, and do not crash into the train directly in front of you. A favorable signal means you may proceed. A favorable signal can be a lunar white, yellow, or green which can appear on any signal above or alongside your track. If all of the signals for your track are red, the train must stop and wait for a favorable signal before proceeding past the signal. Note, after the first locomotive passes a signal, the signal will turn red. When this happens, you can still keep your train moving past this signal. The signal turned red for the next train that is following behind you. This function of the signal system keeps proper spacing between the trains. After the Yardmaster gives you the controller, plug it into the side of the layout. You will note that the two screws on the plug must face up. The Yardmaster will then tell the dispatcher you are ready to go. Once the dispatcher gets the clear track, he will align the switches and give you a favorable signal. Once your signal changes to a favorable signal, you may proceed. Once your train is moving, you will follow it by plugging your controller into any of the convenient plugins along your train's path. There are plugins located around the entire layout. We recommend operating your train at a speed that you can keep up with to maintain control of your train. You will operate your train back into the yard that you left from. If you need to leave before you get your train back to the yard, please stop your train and give your controller to any club member. If you need any help, club members are standing by to assist you in answering your questions. 
Have fun operating our trains, and thank you for visiting with the Valley Model Railroad Club Portable Layout. More information about the club can be found at our website at www.vmrr.org.